Okay, so here we are. Just arrived at Tyningham, or Tinningham, depends what way you want to pronounce it. Uh, the plan is to walk down to the beach. Uh, it's looking like a good day. The sun's out occasionally, but there's also spots of rain that are happening as well. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll just head down there and see what it's like. So, just after arriving at the car park, realised there's a pain display system in place now. So, went to my wallet, not one pound coin to be had. So, back in the car, quickly nipped over to the village of uh, Tinningham. Stunning little village, it's like stepping back in time, absolutely beautiful. And there's a, a little cafe, does scones, baked cakes, teas, coffees. Uh, got myself a little cake and then uh, the process got some change as well so that's all good got my my pound coins ready for the the pain display machine came back parked up and then uh, just as I was about to put some money in this lovely girl came up and gave me her ticket because they were leaving so I got a cake and parked for free happy days we are So here we are at the end of the forest, just approaching the beach and you can see the sea. Well, I've gone and done exactly what I said I wasn't going to do, but I just couldn't resist the shot of the bass rock with the sun hitting it. I quickly nipped over these rocks here, set up the tripod. just when the sun was hitting the, the, the bass rock and it was just beautiful, illuminated, fantastic. What I did do, instead of just your textbook landscape uh, shot, I've uh, set this up as a portrait and I've done a lot of sky. So I'm really just kind of skimming the bottom of the rock uh, and just capturing some of the sea. But really, uh, a lot of emphasis was on uh, a good bit of height, good bit of uh, clouds. As you can probably tell, the clouds are really quite nice, just, just hanging above it. Uh, so yeah. Came down, got the shot of the, the rocks and the grass behind me. Um, I don't know, it, it might look good, it might not. I just thought I'd give it a go. As I said, something a wee bit different than what I'm used to. I have to be careful walking around here, the seaweed. But uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, head back to the car. Um, I, was, I was hoping a wee bit more dramatic uh, coastline with uh, the tide being out but uh, it's just a wee bit messy, a bit rocky, a bit seaweedy as you can tell by the way I'm walking. It's uh, kind of precarious. So head back to the car and probably head further around the coast um, maybe towards maybe towards North Berwick. Let's try, let's go to North Berwick.
on the way back to the car, we were walking past this field and I noticed every time the wind blows there's this kind of shimmering wave that goes right across the field of corn. I think it's corn, yeah. Uh, which looks really quite, it looks really majestic. It's absolutely fabulous to see. So the plan is to take a long exposure, big stopper, grad filter, ISO is down to 50, really slow things down uh, and it's up to 30 second exposure. That way any kind of movement in the field is captured and it's kind of like a ripple effect so we, uh, we get a bit of motion and in the backdrop we've got a beautiful blue skies with puffy clouds, with trees, all very picturesque. But the plan is to get some really, really nice movement in the corn in front of it. So, let's see how we get on. So that was a lovely little trip. Uh, it was um, not quite what I was expecting. Got some nice shots, some different shots than what I'd usually have taken uh, with the mindset of just being kind of a bit more minimal, a bit more abstract. And um, yeah, so I'm actually looking, out of the three shots that we took, the one I'm looking forward to is the one with the moving corn. I think that'll be quite nice. Um, I'll crop in a wee bit. Maybe even just have a, a, a slight bit of sky, slight bit of trees, but with the main, the main focus on the moving of co the corn. So hopefully the wind blew at the right time when I let the shutter release go, and I did capture some movement. It's always a bit of a hit and miss with these kind of scenarios, but um, not to worry, next stop is North Berwick. long exposure, high contrast shot. Unfortunately, I didn't film where I was because there were so many tourists around. I'm at Tantalon Castle and it's busy and I don't like talking in front of people. Uh, yeah, it's just a thing I'm not getting, I, t I need to get used to. But if you can see behind me, the Bash Rock, which we photographed earlier from afar, I managed to get a bit of a, a vantage point up on top of Tantalon Castle. Tantalon Castle is a ruin, beautiful ruin right in the east coast. Hangs on the cliff edge, it's really quite stunning. First time I've been inside as well, drove past it many times. But there's different levels in there and you can go up quite high, and which gave a great vantage point for the Bass Rock. So, big stopper out, 30 second exposure, and um, it is very high contrast, There's a, you know, the, the sky and the sea are very bright and then you've got the rock perched right in the middle of the, of the water there. So, I'm glad I got it. I, I'm not happy I didn't film the whole process, but as I said, there's lots of people in there moving around, kicking around, and I'm not one to talk to our camera in front of people. Uh, 
maybe I should try it because uh, it was it was good. I wish I uh, it was a nice vantage point. It was out a window in the castle, uh, and the the view was specifically just of the Bash Rock. So I think we'll call it a day. Uh, the tide's still not in far enough for the uh, other picture of the the swimming pool at North Berwick. But another day, I think. Uh, I want to get back, have a look at some of the footage I've taken and also uh, see some of the pictures. And there's also rain on the horizon over there. And it's coming this way, so it's good a good time to error to uh, call it a day. Head back to the house and look at the images. Cheers. Mm -hmm.